welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, I will show you this simple circuit to alternate two LEDs. The circuit uses only a 555 timer, three resistors, one capacitor, and of course, the two LEDs. This circuit is based on a characteristic of the 555 timer that is not very well known. As you may know, at pin 3, we have an output that is this train of pulses. That is, we go from zero voltage to a maximum, zero, maximum, and so on. That means that if we have a load connected to pin 3, a current will flow from pin 3 to the load and then to ground. However, when we are at zero voltage, if we connect a load to positive and then to pin 3, the current will flow from positive to the load to pin 3 and then to ground. That is, pin 3 can act as a source of current but also as a sink. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. And here is the full circuit. The frequency of oscillation of the two LEDs is controlled by this capacitor and this resistor. A larger capacitance will result in a lower frequency and vice versa and a higher resistance will mean lower frequency and vice versa. You can play with these values to change the frequency of oscillation. And how it works? Okay, here we have pin three. When the output is high, we have a voltage, then the current flows from pin three through this LED, then to this resistor and to ground. Then, when the output is low, that is, we are at zero volts, then the current flows from positive through this resistor, then to the other LED, to pin 3, and then to ground. And uh, these two resistors correspond to the, the two LEDs. Since I am using uh, red and green LEDs that require different currents, I have two different resistors. This is the green LED that requires more current, therefore I have a 100 ohm resistor. The red LED needs less current, therefore the resistance is higher. You can adjust the value of your resistors depending on the type of LEDs and of course the voltage from your power supply. The circuit can work from 4 volts up to 10 or 12 volts. Let's now see it working. Okay, let me turn on my power supply, 9 volts and you can see the two LEDs alternating. As I mentioned before, if you want a different rate of oscillation, you can change the value of the capacitor and or the value of the resistor. Okay, that's all for today. I hope you liked this video. Thanks for visiting my channel and see you in the next one.